the camera is simply a tool. And it's going to come down to the photographer to get the best images out of that camera. And to demonstrate this, well, we set up a little demonstration for you. All of these photos, they were taken actually with a simple iPhone 3 and iPhone 4 using the built-in camera app. Now, the first session was basically taken by Lee Morris and Patrick Hall, our good friends from the F-Stoppers who did the original iPhone fashion shoot. Then we did a follow-up shoot with the iPhone 4 where we did the same thing, but we took out reflectors and we basically demonstrated some natural light techniques. Again, pulling off great professional images. Now, notice that I didn't say that we captured these images using professional cameras or professional camera techniques. And the whole reason is because, well, a professional camera can enhance the overall quality of a photograph. It can allow more possibilities. It can open up essentially what you can do, but it can't create the image itself. And to prove that, we have a little demonstration for you. So in my right hand, I have the Canon 5D Mark III. This is a full frame camera. The camera body itself ranges anywhere between $2,800 to $3,400, depending on what kind of sale you get it on. And this is the 85 1.2L. So this is another $2,000 lens. In my left hand, I have a Rebel. This is a standard Rebel. It's a $500 DSLR. And we have the uh, 85 1.8 lens on it. So it's about a $300 lens. So in my left hand, I have $800. In my right hand, I have around five to $6,000. Now, given that this is roughly one sixth of the price of this camera, does that mean that we're going to get one sixth of the quality? Is this camera going to take six times better photos than this one? Well, the answer is no. More likely than not, this camera is going to give you maybe an extra 20, 30 percent of overall image quality, but we can still get amazing professional images with just basic cameras and basic camera setups. So what we've done here is we're going to set up a little demonstration just to show you that the difference between these two cameras is not going to be as much as you think it is. Now, this camera is a full frame camera body. So our, our full frame sensor, this is a crop sensor. Okay. So we do have to stand back a little bit further when we capture on the rebel to get the same exact shot. So occasionally we might mention a topic that will be later covered in more detail. For example, crop versus full frame cameras. So be on the lookout for these little for more info tip. It'll pop up, guide you to the chapter containing more information on that particular topic. But what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the exact same shot, both this, with this camera and with this camera. We're going to show you that, well, it's not going to be a six times difference. Okay, so what we have here in our scene is it's fairly early in the day. Uh, it's roughly 8.30, 9 o'clock. We got up again at the butt crack of dawn to get out here so we can shoot during sunrise because we have this beautiful directional light over this field. I'm going to go with a simple composition here, just Whitney on the left third, and then we're going to go kind of open space. What I'm going to do is crop and move the frame so we don't have any sky or any of these other things in the background. We have some uh, telephone poles and other things that we're basically just going to crop out so we kind of eliminate that distraction. So let's just take a moment right now and look at Pi's lighting setup. I want you all to pay really close attention to the way that Pi is lighting and setting up his shots in every video. Because even though we're showing you just simple camera techniques or functions, we're still going to light and set up the scene for best results. So here, Olivia, our assistant, is holding up the silver side of a basic 5-in-1 reflector. Now, that silver side of the reflector is going to catch and reflect a lot of light compared to, let's say, the white side of a reflector, which we might use for fill light. And here, we're using that hard and powerful light from the silver to act as a main light on the model's face. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're set up here. and. Uh, let's see, Whitney, what I'm going to have you do is, because the light is so directional, Whitney, I'm going to have you bring your chin just down and towards that reflector a little bit. There we go. Since the light is so directional off this side, well, I need to kind of turn her chin into it a little bit so we don't get as much shadow coming across her face. And then, Whitney, give me a little kick to the hip. So kick kind of out towards this side, and then uh, and actually turn, the, turn your chest just directly towards me, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I like to show because, well, it's easier to show than to say it. All right, so just kind of roll the hip right out to the outside, and I'm going to have... Roll it to this side and let me see what, we'll go both sides, we'll see what we like better. Roll to the right side. I like that. Okay, so roll to that side, bring the chin over. There you go, my dear, perfect. Beautiful, love that. That looks awesome. Okay, now all I gotta do is switch over to my 5D3. Remember, this is a full frame camera, so the actual view on this is 85. The actual view on this is somewhere around like 120, 130, so 1.6 times 85. So she's gonna hold perfectly still. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. I think I can probably get a pretty similar shot from here. Okay. Gorgeous, love that. Let's make sure they're pretty similar. Very close. So 
right now, right here, I want you guys to get it out of your heads that you have to have amazing professional gear to get professional shots. You simply don't need that. What you do need is you need to have your creative eye, you need to understand lighting and posing, which is everything we're gonna be teaching you here, and then just have your basic DSLR and go out and shoot. Now that we're set up with the scene, well, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a few more shots, just using the same exact scene, our same lighting setup and so forth, because, well, I don't wanna waste our beautiful scene and our beautiful model and, well, everything about it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a few more shots. You guys can head out to the next video now.